about it. This is how we pick some lobster mushrooms. Let's go check it out in here, Gav, before we jump in here. I seem to find most of the lobster mushrooms in sort of this type of an area, surrounded by uh, pines. It is a little bit late in the year, but there's one right there. They're pretty easy to find when you uh, see them because they're very red. So this one's growing just underneath the ground. Let me see, Gav. Hang on. Okay, yep, you can dig down sometimes to get them. And as long as they're still firm, then they're edible. It's bad. Is it too soft? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more. So we see some over here, and this is how. You okay, know, just one sec. You one can, sec. You can tell by the shape, and you can t tell by the touch. So what are we looking for? Something that's firm. This, this one's good, guys. Hang on. That one's good. So they're pretty identifiable because they're very red and they that they look good. just like a lobster. Is this one good? Yep, that one's beautiful. Yep. The top. Okay, now how about the one right under your foot there? Yep, looks good. And then this bright red one over here. Sometimes they turn bright red when they're starting to expire on us. Is it soft? Yep. They smell so good. So again, typically they're found in the same type of country. And you can see them from usually from some distance off as they're bright red. So I can see some right there. And then there's a great big one up in here. Let's go check these ones out, Gavel. Okay. Oh. Check that guy out. Go check those ones out, buddy. And that one doesn't look too good. You can start to see it's already deteriorating. And then the white stuff you get. This one is nothing good. You can dig down sometimes and pull them out from underneath the ground. Oh, he's pretty soft, Gavel. You see, what do we do to the soft ones? It'll be put them on the tree branches and then we think those squirrels eat them. So, I see a couple more. They are right here, and a fun fact about these mushrooms, they don't grow in big groups. They grow separate, which means... Huh. Ooh, that's a great big, big one. Ones. Oh, <laughs> there's a tiny ones right here. And these ones are good. So you can see they're all sort of uniquely shaped, but they all bear that lobster color. And again, the bright, bright red ones usually are past their prime. And you can see this guy here is already broken up, so he won't be any good. We'll see if this one's good. Good. Can you just open it, yeah? And show they show everybody that what they look like when they're broken open, when they're past their prime. So they're still a bit white, but they're very, very they're soft and pu and spongy. Those are good ones. They're not good ones. So not bad for uh, literally a five minute walk. Uh, usually this late in the season, September second, they're past their prime in my area. Uh, but they do come up depending on the weather, so we'll head to another spot and see if we could find some chanterelles. So, early September right now, and again, we're in the we're in more of more of a mixed uh, mixed forest. We got some uh, a lot of pine, we got some hardwoods here, we got some softwoods. It's all mixed, uh, but it seems that the areas with the pine trees is where we find most of our lobsters, and. Uh, we just got a rain, so it seems to bring the uh, the mushrooms out quite a bit again. Uh, they're very, very easy to see. And obviously the reason why they're called lobsters is because of their colors. They look like a, a cooked lobster. So this one's firm to the touch. 
we can harvest that. We leave a lot of the uh, roots behind. Um, some people certainly harvest them different, believing that they might come up. Uh, it might prevent them from coming up if they're not harvested properly. I find that this area produces the lobster mushrooms every single year, regardless of how they're harvested. Uh, if you look at this one, you'll see a lot of insect damage. And uh, you can feel that it's soft to the touch and it breaks apart. And then you can see a lot of insects on the mushroom itself. So again, because they're so easy to see, uh, I was able to see a couple more from the road over here. And we'll go find them. Again, it's, it, I find, anyway, that it's good to either mark or remember your spots because they seem to pop up in the same areas every year. Like this area, I've harvested lobster mushrooms for se several times. And once you see them, they stand out and you can almost, almost harvest them just driving by. You don't even need to slow down because they're so easy to see. Nothing else in the forest seems to match them. And these ones look like beauties. Very hard to, on the touch. And very firm when we retrieve them. Again, just beautiful mushrooms. Very firm. Nice and white. Not a lot of insect damage. These are going to make excellent eating. A lot of times you'll find slugs in the mushroom, like right here, slugs do uh, a little bit of damage. You'll see the slug marks here and here. Uh, some people aren't comfortable in eating them. I just cut the areas out and still uh, consume them, but that's your choice. Yeah, that's how we get, uh, that's lobster mushrooms. Again, uh, if you're not comfortable uh, with the identification of the mushrooms, I suggest that you don't harvest them. And uh, secondly, I, uh, I, I strongly suggest that if you're new to foraging, um, sort of like myself, I've only been doing it for a few years, you only harvest mushrooms that you're comfortable with, uh, satisfied with the identity 100%. Uh, like lobster mushrooms, there really are no lookalikes that compare to a lobster mushroom. You'll see like each mushroom grows a little bit differently. Uh, this mushroom here is more of the standard style of mushroom, uh, probably because it's new. But uh, I, I suggest if you're getting into it that you maybe look at um, one mushroom per year, um, identify, select, and harvest. And that way you could become an expert or at least confident in what you're doing. Oh, and here's another one here. So again, as they compare to the dark red ones, these ones are fresh, coming out of the ground probably last night. And he's a beauty. Hi guys, this is Gavin Brad Fortune channel. And there's gonna be some hunting, fishing, foraging, and also camping. So guys stay tuned. See guys, we have lobster mushrooms. Okay, can you eat these? Yes. And how do you tell they're lobster mushrooms? See if they're hard or not in the season because there's only a season for them. You want to check to see if they're firm and they're not rotten? Yep, that one looks good. Alright. Any more? We got a big massive one right here. Uh, take that off. See guys, if you could see inside of it, there's that, there could be, um, what do you call those again? Bugs and slugs. Yeah, bugs and slugs. 
Does that ruin it, or do you just take them out? It sometimes can ruin it, but if you take them out, it won't. Alright, guys. Hi, guys. We've seen some mushrooms. They're also called sun trails here. And, um... And Mountain River. And here's some chanterelles. Can you hold them upside down? Okay, can we eat those? Yes, we can eat them. They're actually very good. This is my favorite mushroom, actually. I'm glad they're up. Take the stem out so it can grow again. Yeah, you leave the stem. Found some, found some more lo lobster mushrooms, and this is a massive one here. Take the dirt off because we not, we want to be clean about it. Oh, another one. Hmm. we get this one? Oh yeah, we can just clean that part off. And I think I see one behind you there, underneath the leaves. Right. So, guys, they normally grow underneath the... And... They look just the same color as a cooked lobster, don't they? Nah. Good shape? Yes. Sorry. It's okay. My bad if I broke it off. This is how normally. Oh! My lucky day! What is it? So, guys, this is a salamander. Found him in the lobster mushroom. Alright, let him go, buddy. Let him go back. Good. There looks like there's some more over here. Do you want to grab them? There's a monster one over there. And right here too, son. Oh, did you Is that a choke Let's get the uh, mushrooms and then we'll check out some cherries. Is that a chokecherry? No. Then what is it? Uh, just a type of berry. Okay. So guys, this is... Uh, uh, holy, this is a big one. It's actually very heavy, actually. Come and show everybody what it looks like. I see a slug on that one. Get it off, it's a... Hey, put it in your basket, son. Come and grab these guys here. 